In this video, we'll learn how to create if statements in Java. In Python, we learn that an if statement looks like this. We start with the if keyword, followed by the condition, followed by a colon. And then below that, we indent the statements that are to be executed in the event that the condition returns true. Here's how the same code looks like in Java. We also start with the if keyword, but our condition is inside parentheses, and the statements to be executed are inside curly braces. If we test this program, we will not get any output. This is because x is 4, therefore our condition, which is x is greater than 5, will return false thereby not executing the if statement's body. If we wanted to add an else clause, we can do so by adding the else keyword after our if statement. And just like with our if statement's body, the body of the else clause will also be placed inside curly braces. Let's just say system.out.println Hello, x is not greater than 5. So now if we test this, our output will be Hello, x is not greater than 5. To add an else if clause, we use the else if key phrase. You can chain as many else ifs as needed, but the optional else clause must always come at the end of the chain. Let's add a couple of else if clauses to this chain. They must come after our starting if statement, but before the else clause. So we add the first else if here. Else if. And then let's make the condition x is greater than this goes inside parentheses as well. And just the same, the body of the else if clause here also goes inside curly braces. So let's just say system.out.println. Hello, x is greater than 3. And then let's add another one. Else if x is greater than 2, then we print out uh, system.out.println. Hello, x is greater than 2. When you have a chain like this, only one branch will get executed. If none of the conditions are met and there exists an else branch, then the else branch gets executed. However, in this example, we can see that both x is greater than 3 and x is greater than 2 will return true because x is equal to 4. But since this is a chain, then it's only the first branch to return true that will be executed. The branches are evaluated from top to bottom. So in this example, the second branch will be the first one to return true so that uh, our program will print this out. And then the rest of the branches will no longer be evaluated. So if we test this out, um, Let's go ahead and do that. We do see that our output is hello, x is greater than 3. 